Hey everyone, today I want to show you my Notion. I am obsessed with Notion. I use it for pretty much every aspect of my life. I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm a freelance web designer, I'm an artist, I'm a, an aspiring YouTuber, and I use Notion to kind of keep track of all this stuff. I was able to break it down into three main ways that I use it. So number one is to store information. I use it to save inspo for art, for web design, for my videos. I have a resonance database that I use to save information that I hear in podcasts and audiobooks that resonates with me. It's like a regular notes app. I use it to save information. And the second way I use it is to plan. I use it to plan out my whole life. I do a personal annual plan. And then I also use it to plan out my social media. I have a social media like content calendar. And then number three is I use it to collaborate with people. I use it for my web design clients. I, I create a client portal. And then I also use it to collaborate with my husband. My husband and I have our own little Notion page. I call it the lover's den. We use it to plan out like our long-term couples goals and then also like shorter term goals things that we want to do in the near future so yeah those are the three main ways I'm gonna show you my notion it's not that pretty I haven't put a lot of time into making it look aesthetic um, because I feel like that's kind of a waste of time to be honest I feel like my notion is more um, function over form so first let me show you my life operating system page this is my main uh, dashboard page for notion um, this is where I have my annual plan and then I have some of my favorite focus playlists. I don't like to listen to songs with lyrics when I'm working because it's hard for me to concentrate. So I have like different instrumental playlists depending on my mood. I have a habit tracker. It's nice to have like a visual representation of your habits so that you're more inclined to want to check all the boxes. And then over here on the left, like I said, I have the annual plan. I basically have all the months and then within each month I have like monthly goals. At the beginning of each month I'll go in and I'll move the monthly goals into um, the different weeks. Each week I will kind of plan out my days based on what the goals are for that week. So I come in here every single day and I and I check what I've got on the docket for today. I have a whole video on how you can build out this annual plan. And that's how I plan my life. That's my life operating system. That's my main hub. Like I said, I use Notion for um, saving info. So like inspiration that I see for art, tips, resources, links, that kind of thing. So for each of my interests in life, I have a page. So I have a web design page where I save a bunch of stuff for web design, a personal page where I save like personal growth and that kind of thing. I have an art page, which is all about art stuff. So let's jump into the art one. I have ideas and inspo on this side. Every once in a while I'll get like newsletters about the latest trends, like the spring colors for the next year, that kind of thing. I, I save those trends. This is all like patterns that I've seen that I'm like, ooh, this is inspiring me. I wanna do something like this. And then I'll like put little um, notes as to what specifically about it that I really like. I feel like a better page would be my web design page. I'm kind of like in my web design era right now. Over here, I have resources that I've gathered. I have fonts, inspiration for fonts. So I took a Squarespace web design class and I have this, this is a digital workbook. I have that saved here. What is this? Oh, this is just a link to a website where you can generate colors. This is where I keep like all the websites that I really like, graphic design, inspo and stuff like that. I have client projects over here. I have the project template. So this is an example of like a client portal page for a web design project. So I would have links, like the links to the Google Drive, to the Pinterest board, mood board, stuff like that. Down here I have a timeline of tasks and I can like change the status of them. So I'm sharing this page with the client so she can come in here at any time and see where I'm at with the um, process. There's also a board view right now. Everything's in done because this is an old project. Yeah, so that's like my web design page. So I'm kind of obsessed with YouTube right now. I've kind of been teaching myself how to edit videos and how to grow on YouTube through YouTube. So I've taken so many notes that I've gathered from so many different videos and just like all kinds of stuff that I've that I've gathered and then I have down here a link to my social media calendar just with the YouTube videos um, filtered so this is like this page is kind of specific to YouTube but if I go to my social media calendar then this is like the whole thing this is kind of probably the best view to see all the data the platform would be either like short form would be TikTok or Instagram Reels and then YouTube. As you can see, it's mostly just YouTube and, and short form that I'm focused on right now. And then I have the content pillars. So I have broken down my content into different categories based on my different interests. I have vlogs, I have uh, Notion videos, like this one right here, this is how I use Notion. That's the video I'm filming right now. And it says status is ready to film. 
dude, I'm freaking filming it right now. I don't have a filming status um, because it's usually doesn't, it's not in that status for very long. So after I'm done filming, I'm gonna change it to ready to edit. So the in progress ones are the ones that are like in progress, like, you know what I mean? And once it gets into the in progress statuses that it gets up here, at that point I will determine a date of when I need to film and when I wanna post it. So then I have two different calendar views. I have the filming schedule, as you can see I'm filming right here. Oh, but this isn't what I'm filming. I filmed this on this day. And then this day I'm actually doing how I use Notion. Yeah, I just flip those. And then I have a post schedule. So this is like a, a month view of when I wanna post each of these videos. That's the current state of my content creation system um it might it will probably change so this is my resonance database so this is all the things that i've heard in podcasts and audiobooks that have resonated with me i go on 30 minute walks every day and i'm always listening to a podcast or an audiobook if you're not taking notes and like really using the information that you're learning in audiobooks and podcasts then i feel like it's just another form of entertainment you know i've kind of tagged this stuff based on like the topic the general topic and then like where i got it from i think the goal would be to organize this stuff into other pages in my notes but I'm um, not sure yet. I still have to like think about what to do with all this. And then I have like a page with a bunch of journal prompts. Save journal prompts. I save quotes. That's kind of like all the pages where I store info in Notion for the most part. The planning part, I showed you the life operating system. This is like how I plan everything. And then I also plan my social media calendar, which I already showed you. The third way, the collaboration, I kind of showed you the client portal. Should I show you the lovers then? It's kind of private, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is, <laughs> we have our, so we have our, our couple's annual planning um, that we did this year. And I'm gonna blur a lot of this out, I think, but I do want to share that the, it's broken down by kind of like category. So we have shared goals, common goals that we have as a couple for the next year. And then we have travel plans, financial planning, home and lifestyle. We have individual development. And then we did like a past year reflection. We also do weekly check-ins. If there's something that comes up during the week that we really wanna bring back to the weekly check-in, then we'll write it in here so we don't forget. We have our big goals, we have our short-term goals. And then we have uh, a section called archived pages where we have things that we plan together. So these are like trips that we've gone on. We have like an itinerary and then we have like this one, we rented a, a camper van. So we had like the info for the roadside assistance and insurance right here. Um, just so it's easy to access. We have links and then we have packing lists. So that's the lovers then. That's pretty much my whole notion. Those are all the main pages that I use. So that was it. That was my notion. Let me know what you thought of it. If you have notion, if you use notion, tell me how you use it. That is different from how I use it. It'll be really cool if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel, but no pressure at all. Just if you want to, you know, that'd be a nice thing to do. Yeah, so I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye. <laughs>